you pay attention to this important message in the grants community as a uh, uh, Mr. Newton came out to uh, tell the masses that all grand pressure group they, they, are, they are coming out was to do a damage control and that the money we are expecting is not a palliative and that we are expecting a huge sum of money talking about grant that grant is not supposed to be palliative that the money that we are expecting is uh, the money from UASUAG grant and that uh, Chief Akogun has gone to see the Chief of Staff to, the, to Mr. President concerning the disbursement of this very grant to the poor masses. Apostle Ken is still in charge according to Mr. Newton. You pay attention. We are yet to confirm this information as it came uh, so urgent to our table right now. We decide to put it across for all our subscribers and the people in the grant space to know what is going on. Congratulations. Stay tuned as we are here committed to update you on the situation in the grand space deal. This money get to our account. Thank you and you pay attention to Mr. Newton. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my people. Thank you so much. My name is uh, Newton. I didn't want to mention my name, but I have to mention my name. There's no problem. Uh, I want to first of all your fame to everybody about these grants and about the meeting that was held last night. Let me let you know one thing. All Grand Pressure Group came to do a damage control. That was the meeting that was there last night. Based on the fact that people are accusing that they are registering NGOs, new new NGOs, that's what they just came to do, shifting all blame to UAG. All those are blank lie. Now let me reaffirm some certain things to you about this All Grand Pressure Group. Are you aware that there was a time All Grand Pressure Group told us that UAG, UAS, that, that, that this Lawrence uh, Apostle Ken is to disburse the name is on the document? After that one, do you also are, are you aware that after some time when Ostad will begin to raise his ugly head because of that Ostad will just physically just hate Apostle Ken for nothing for no reason. All Grand Project Group now begin to say that that they went as in they were going through. They now notice that uh, they did not see the document. They don't know. So what they now did was that they now met somebody. They now linked it to somebody that brought Grant into Nigeria. That the person is still alive. That after when they now met the person, they now just look at it that okay, what is going to happen is this they should just uh, uh, feature uh, a postal that or can one come out on it and they now stand as shorty. Come with I do now stand as shorty for him. Now, 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 uh, Apostle Ken is now misbehaving, he's now making everything look as if. Are you aware that this is what he said? As all that project will not ever told us about this UAG grant. Now, let me let you know what you should know. The thing you should know is this everybody get it clear. All grand pressure group are liars. They are lying. You understand? The process of this grant is what has been on and is almost completed. The same grant that we have ever had, which is UAS, UA, UAG grant, is the grant that is coming. Nothing like federal government. Do you also think that federal government will give Nigerians money? Federal government. When federal government is borrowing trillions all over the all over the world. To finance their project, they, they, they have a lot of project on ground that are not financed. The federal government will now say, okay, since we now don't work out, work out is somewhere now for we not to let you put just go, just take this money, you put go and share. All those are blank lies. It is children that will believe all those lies of yesterday. They thank God that they did not accuse Apostle Cove of anything that uh, that they can uh, they are still going to use that they can that uh, nobody should abuse, uh, 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 abuse Apostle Ken. Thank God that they say that and they don't have anything enticing to him. They do not have anything to say, okay, this is what it is. So please, my people, I want to let you put no one thing today. That Apostle Ken is still going to be the one to disburse this money. Every modality for disbursement is going on. Yeah, the reason why you notice that Chief Akogu and all that, uh, and all lady, they all went to go and see a uh, 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 chief of staff is for the success of the disbursement. That's care. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just because of the way things are. Enemies, so much enemies in the process. That does it. And a lot of things are hap have happened. That Abu Zukana cannot just come out and begin to just talk. No. There are some certain things that you have to keep. You don't op say that so that for peace to reign. You understand? So let's just believe that God is going to show us mercy this week. By God's grace, that we should hear good news from them that everything has been said. Thank God, God, Peter, who said the last template was submitted last week, that uh, it has been approved, that it's now waiting, that they cannot tell us uh, uh, the money 
that uh, Bevisa is going to receive and the money NGO is going to receive, but no problem. Everybody that have been do that have do verification, they are going to receive their money. Is that not what he said? So let nobody blame. Let nobody begin to think that Apostle Ken uh, has deceived us. It's a lie. That man has not deceived us in any way. It's all Gamper Jogu that just trying to paint their side white so that nobody will begin to pull point accusing figures against them. Do you understand me? So please, let's have it in mind. Please, thank you so much. This is what I just want to say. Thank you.